Yeah, buddy. He's not helping very much. Yeah, buddy. Well, I was planning to. I can't stand like that. I'm gonna fall. I was planning to film this. Uh, me adjusting the one more thing in the house after what I just table and treadmill. But Miss Kelsey has been working on it hard last two days, and she's almost done. So we have a grill, but Miss forgot. Propane. Pro pro ten what? Propane. Propane. Where it goes inside here. Uh -huh. So we're not gonna be able to grill anything tonight. But this is really nice. I like. Oh, see, we do oh, have this babe. Nuts. Or what? We do have these, and then you can grill the. So it's for sauce. Mm. Like you put a saucepan there, and then you can put it on your food. That's actually a really nice one. When your boy's off the prep, mega fit steaks and everything, and we're gonna be putting, eating steaks every night. Also, we just went to some store like Home Depot and stuff like that to for this part to cover it pretty much and put the outside patio and then we're gonna have a grill also covered so we can literally now is the nicer weather coming also we're getting a new tv you know vibes when you're adult those kind of things makes you happy i guess i don't know that's how i'm starting this video i'm gonna continue tomorrow probably so we're gonna assemble this till the end she's gonna actually assemble i'm gonna let her let her do the do the job and uh no Okay, I'm gonna help her and I see you tomorrow. Thank you for your feedback on time. When the plan is not executed 100%, as a coach, informational and everything, we can adjust anything based on uh, you just telling me what you, you know, what you ate or what did you go for diet. When everything is perfect, I know exactly what you did, etc. So with that said, there is not going to be a change. As far as my stress levels went, they were, they were low as usual. Um, they didn't really stress out from work. I like what I see so far. I like what I see. Uh, not a sprint, it's a marathon. But we are on the right path with this lower carbs uh, and adjusted cardio. From next week, I'm probably gonna raise your cardio again, but gonna keep the food. What's up, brother? So first, let me start off by saying I appreciate your willingness to do whatever it takes to bring your best. You have to understand them. I will not let us miss. You have to understand, I've done this. I've looked at a handful of physiques. We're in a good spot for being six weeks out. You also have to understand, right? We are running, we have six sessions a week at 35 minutes of cardio. Bro, you know what my cardio was at six weeks out? Shout out six weeks out. You know what my cardio is now? Seven sessions a week at 45 minutes. And this is the lowest it's ever been at this point. Four Tuesday at an hour, right? I'm not comparing me to you or because you're, let's be real, your genetics are actually better than mine or at least internal genetics, like your ability to, get leaner faster. Um, I'm not worried. You look amazing. You know, I'm not worried so much that I'm going to give you three high days this week and I'm going to have some dig days here. So this is where we're really going to start to work. This is really when I start to see some movement. All right. So Monday today and Tuesday, you said your pumps are a little lack right now. I'm going to push food up high, right? We're going to drop some protein, not drastically, but just enough. So from here on Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to make your reset days in terms of food wise. Um, and then what we're also, what, what I are going to do actually though, I'm going to put your cardio at, at daily, just at 35 minutes though. Um, and then now we're going to push hard on these low days. Keep in mind, this isn't, this isn't crazy hard, right? So we have so much room. Uh, that's what I want to make very clear. We have so much room to make adjustments that it's insane. If I needed to dig you hard for four straight days to then bring you back to life, I will do it. I a hundred percent will do it, but we're in a good spot. And I know that you're used to being tight, but six weeks out, you have new muscle and the importance of this new muscle is not being ready too early, 
but being ready early enough where we can utilize high days and things like that to start getting your body prepared for a peak week, which is higher food. So again, we, we, we only got you ready too early last time. We did. You know, we were throwing five, six thousand calories in you and you were, you know, not drastically full of the next day. So now we're getting your body responsive. Right. So, again, we have Monday, Tuesday. You're going to be your high days. OK, don't worry. Weight goes up. It's not, put it this way. On high days, weight isn't supposed to drop. Right. So and then Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday will be your low days. Now, what you're going to start to understand from next week is I'm going to have about four low dig days matched with one high day that's going to come soon okay so that's when we're really going to start to aim to lose a lot of body fat all right but now you can see it your lower back is tightening up your midsection is coming in there we also have to keep training intensity high so that's why high days are important right now and again with cardio now i'm being at you know before this only six sessions at 35 minutes bro i can put you at seven sessions for an hour and motherfucker you would get lean as as can be we're in a good spot you look really good let's keep trusting this process Again, I'm gonna bring, I'm not missing this, Bill. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> like, like we will be ready. I love you, you know I got you. I will not allow us to miss, but I also need us to be bigger, fuller, denser, not lacking in the back. All of these things in order to be the best version of yourself. I need you to be practicing posing every day. How are you practicing when you're off to the left, off to the right, right, dead center, all of it. No more mishaps, control what we can control. All right, brother, let's work. Well, okay, guys. Uh, you heard Alex good and the bad news. We starting to have a dig days. And also, this is just, I've heard it for the first time, same like you, I just played for you guys. Uh, but we do have a three high days this week. And one of them is today. So I guess I'll be showing you a high day again, full day of eating. But we still need to finish our cardio and everything. And then I'm gonna start making my breakfast. So. Catch you in a second. Oh. All right, guys. Oh, that was a heavy, that was a heavy 30, 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm sweat, I'm dripping sweat. I don't know if you can see this whole thing is sweat. Uh, I have this always wearing that and I have this thing which comes to the treadmill So you can literally see your heart rate on the all the time without putting your hands on the treadmill And my heart rate was supposed to be in between 130 140 so I was keeping that all the time And one thing that I did that I didn't show you If you can see I put three of these pads out of from Amazon So it's already kind of inclined and then I put it on the highest incline just because this treadmill does have a up to 15 percent incline but i noticed that normal like gyms where i usually like tend to do my cardio my usual incline is 10 percent and even on this 15 percent it was still lower than the 10 percent in the gym so i put those three under and now it matches perfectly and i have a cheap treadmill with a really good quality and everything matches perfectly so i'm really happy about that also you heard alex our time of the cardio didn't raise anything but instead of six times per week we do have a now seven times per week 35 minutes fast it's still really not a lot considering that we're almost five weeks out i never do more than 35 minutes of cardio so now it's time finally to make our first meal of the day we have a high day so i'm excited not so high but it's definitely higher than you know expected so let me go make my breakfast Oh yeah. All 
Alright guys, I apologize that I didn't talk before the breakfast. We see my wet is my uh, my hair is still wet. I was kind of in a rush because I didn't expect that I'm gonna get a high day today. So I was kind of fasting a little bit, and then he gave me a new adjustments. So I needed to kind of rush to eat that first meal because we have a lot of things going on actually today. Uh, after this, uh, pretty much after a pre-workout meal, we are going to Young LA gym to film for Young LA YouTube channel. Uh, if you didn't know, Young LA has a YouTube channel, it's actually very interesting, it's growing. It's gonna be linked in the description if you wanna watch. It's pretty much like deeper inside of the us athletes. Uh, so today, me and Joe Andrews gonna film a leg workout for Young LA YouTube channel. That's pretty much the first part of the day. And then later on in the evening, I think it's gonna be today, maybe tomorrow, we have a podcast with Niall, Niall Naiga. You probably, a lot of you guys know uh, him. Also, it's gonna be in the description box down below so you can go watch the full podcast. Uh, I'm someone that keeps a lot of things privately, but Niall is my friend, so I think I will open about a lot of things there. So if you wanna watch it, as I said, the link is gonna be in the description so you can go check it out. It's gonna be an interesting one. But with that said, we just ate the first meal and listen, Prep is all about consistency and like day to day looks exactly the same. With that said, there is not a lot of things guys that I can film for you besides like days in a life, full day of, ze full day of eatings, um, you know, workouts, because every single day is the same. Especially now we are exactly five and a half weeks now out now and that's why I like to lock in, not go off of my routine. Everything is pretty much the same every single day, timings of the meal, timings of the sleep, cardio, etc. So with that said, I purely enjoy when I get new adjustments like today, I opened the camera, you saw it first actually adjustments, so why not to film for you guys? So obviously video is gonna be kind of repetitive, but not repetitive because not every single day is exactly the same. So if you wanna watch it, I love you guys. I love your support, I love your comments, I love everything. If you think content is boring, once again, unsubscribe i'm just trying to show you my journey i'm just trying to help you maybe to learn something some informational things i love personally to watch videos like that especially when i'm on prep so with that said first meal that i ate uh, was um, out of three plates of course so on the first plate as a high day instead of two slices of honey wheat toast we had a three slices of a honey wheat toast with a 70 grams of avocado and one whole egg on the second plate, proteins are lowered, you heard Alex, so instead of 280 grams of uh, egg whites, we have a 200 grams of an egg whites with a 50 grams of a spinach. And instead of no potatoes on the normal days, we have a 200 grams of potatoes on the third plate. So that was a first meal of the day. Actually excited to eat a little bit more today. And um, I will be showing you the rest of the day. Also might bring the camera with me, so film a BTS of that YouTube Young LA, even though you can watch it there. But now back to the work. I also need to cut my hair. There is a lot of things going on. I always pick the camera in the wrong timings. But I will catch you on the pre-workout meal and the second meal of the day. Until then, enjoy my ghost. All right, guys, a little bit loud, but I'm in a big rush day, actually. I finished my haircut as you can see and obviously I did cut myself my ear a little bit but it's all good we finished we were in a rush uh, they rescheduled for an hour earlier so I'm literally gonna go now either empty stomach or a full stomach there is no in between they literally kind of screw me over so I'm in a big big rush we are starting workout in 30 minutes and I'm trying to eat my pre-workout meal on a high day not the best option, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna show you fast what I have. We have a 93.7 beef, and someone's calling me. Joe Andrews is calling me, give me a second. Uh, yes, yes. There he is, there he is. Hey, uh, just real quick bro, like, honestly, cause me and uh, Eric are up here right now, and we're kinda just talking about like, we don't want to like cause any sort of stress or anything like that whatsoever and seemingly that like you had to change a lot of things around and stuff you got other things to do today um bro we can always do a fucking we can reschedule and do a workout i will literally be there bro in 30 minutes in the gym just like stretch okay. 
a workout in itself is going to take an hour and a half. Yeah. You're going to hit a good workout. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Do that, and I'll jump, and we can start a, like a start the workout immediately when I come perfect. there. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So sounds good. See you All in a right. bit. Digest that fucking meal, my guy, because it sounds like it's hot. <laughs> Since I have a high day today, if I eat a whole meal right now, I'm gonna throw up on the workout. So I'm probably gonna eat just two two bites and, and immediately go to the gym. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, bro. See you in a bit. All right, see you, bro. See you, bro. Okay, I guess you heard the whole conversation. Uh, uh, potatoes in the air fryer, uh, 93 7 beef that I'm gonna put right now in the fridge. How the full meal in the fridge, in the microwave, how the full meal looks like. Uh, it's gonna be on the screen. We have 142 grams of uh, 93 7 beef, we have uh, 300 grams of potatoes, and uh, I'm gonna use just because I have no time. It was supposed to be 80 grams of asparagus, but I'm gonna use for the next meal that I will have 50 grams of a lettuce. We'll have some salt. I'm probably not gonna eat the whole meal right now, uh, but everything is gonna be on the screen. So calories and macros for the pre-workout meal are gonna be on the screen. I apologize for this hecticity, if that's a word. And uh, I'll bring you with me uh, to the gym to film that leg workout, even though you can see a full leg workout on the Yangale world. And uh, yeah, eating the meal and immediately going to the gym. So I'll catch you in a second. Fast, need to prepare this and leave instantly. So in a big hydro jug, we have a scoop of a hydration, which is really good for a pump and overall endurance in the gym. We have a BCAAs, prevent the catabolism, you know, all that cool stuff that's in a bottle that I'm drinking throughout the workout. Then a pre-workout concoction is gonna be a scoop of a unflavored creatine, two scoops of a pump, Peach flavor. That's one. That's two. And we have a ghost all out sour apple. Sour green apple, my bad. We're gonna put not the full school. We're gonna put like 300 milligrams approximately. So three quarters of that. That's gonna be leg days pre workout. And uh, I'll catch you there in the gym, guys. We just wrapped that up, but I didn't film anything because that video should be probably before I upload this video on uh, Young LA World YouTube channel. So if it is, it's gonna be somewhere here. I'm gonna plug it so you can watch a full. It was more a talk than a workout actually, so I stayed hour longer after we filmed that video. Right now, as you can see, I'm still in the gym and I finished my leg workout. So it's not a full in-depth workout with Joe Andrews, but it was more of a talk, meaning me and Joe more like a individuals than like a, a young LA athlete. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Go watch it and subscribe to Young LA World because way more videos to come and also you can go comment what you wanna see. And if you wanna see me, comment below and we'll make a new vi more videos. But look at, look at the drip, guys. Young LA, tear off the sleeves, as you can see, and a new style, bandana. I actually like bandanas, but I never wore it because I don't know how to tie it. But now, since I was working with Joe, he tied up bandana on me, and I actually like it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start rocking this drip like no sleeve bandana. I like it. Comment down below what you think. But anyways, it was a long session. One thing that I forgot to mention is uh, physique update is coming in the next video. We are five weeks out, as you can see, leaning out. Ugh. Yeah. Physique update next video. 205 pounds currently. We are back in the usual position. Still didn't even shower because there was a long session, long overall being in the gym and we have a high day. So we're not supposed to leave a short space in between the meals today, even though I'm kind of doing it right now. It is what it is. I also didn't shower because I kind of 
you know, like this bandana. Anyways, irrelevant. I actually stay hour longer after the workout, like just to like crush my legs. And I think I kind of overdid it because my legs were jiggly wiggly, literally going out of the car. I was like, I couldn't even get out of the car. So based on that, I think it was a good session. And now we have a typical bodybuilder post-workout meal, you know, the drill. We have our rice, jasmine rice cooked. It went to 150 grams, but now in this high day, we have a 250 grams of our jasmine rice, which is solid, it's not bad. Before last prep I was having 400 per meal, so it's still lower, but it's okay, today is a high day. And then, as I said, we have a lower protein today, so on this plate we have 142 grams of our chicken breast, mega fit, which are usually 170, and we have 80 grams of asparagus. I also, this is my favorite condiment right now. I love it. I'll absolutely love it. And it's zero calories. Curry ketchup on the rice. Curry ketchup on any kind of meat, rice, potatoes, bro. It's so good. Either you love it, either you hate it. There's no in between. So the calories and macros for the post workout meal are gonna be listed on the screen. I still have some time to catch the sun, so I'm probably gonna go tan a little bit. Two more meals to go today. Good day so far. I'm going to indulge into this meal. You saw calories and macros. Catch you on the next one. Alright guys, you can finally see me in a different environment for the first time in this house. You mean four feet away from where you normally sit. Four feet away, yeah, from where I normally sit, but this is in front of TV. Uh, where I'm gonna eat my next meal and four last meal. I'm showered, everything's done pretty much. Now eat this meal, work a little bit, online coaching application. It's gonna be in the description if you wanna join. Ah, cookie. Cookie, Co cookie said also. Apply for online coaching, okay. Go, go there, mom is calling you. But um, what am I yapping again? Anyways, I have a, uh, again, beef. This time on this prep, since my metabolism was running so fast last time, we last time had a two chicken meals, uh, and with the two rice meals, right? Two chicken rice meals. And now we have a two beef potato meals, pretty much, which is like more fiber and more fats. So it's kind of slowing down my digestion which is apparently good and um, we have a uh, well I didn't say 140 grams 142 so again 30 grams less than usual and on this plate uh, which I do like this is probably one of my favorite meals for sure it's just repetitive so it gets boring but we have a uh, 250 grams of potatoes instead of 170 was last week now it's gonna be even lower but you're gonna see that and we have a uh, 80 grams of asparagus on that one so Calories and macros gonna be listed on the screen. And then next to me, what Kelsey has, what is this? Those are tortilla chips and salsa. Tortilla chips. Salsa. salsa. Salsa is okay, okay, salsa doesn't have any calories actually. And then this is the. Chocolate. She got like chocolate, but like fancy chocolate, which I smelled yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, I didn't eat like plain chocolate for such a long time. Anyways, you saw the calories and macros, at least I hope so next meal and then we have one more to go so catch you on the last meal of the day on a high hot high car day meal of the day and I can't wait to eat it so I'm gonna be fast with, it, with this and it's kind of cold in the house because Kelsey left, left the door open but on a high days we still have exactly the same meal for the last meal which is my favorite meal it's huge I know but showing this meal just in a literally look how big bowl like both of this if I weigh it's probably gonna be over five pounds and now I'm already holding the ice cream I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that in the freezer because I don't want it to be melty I like it like a little bit you know icier but how it looks is gonna be on the screen and how many calories for that volume is gonna be screen ridiculous pretty much you know the drill in a bowl of oatmeal which i'm also gonna go put in the fridge uh made it in the morning i don't have to explain it it's literally 80 grams of uh, oats uh we have 100 grams of blueberries we have some cinnamon powder zero calories so this is only 80 grams of oats guys 
and honey grams and blueberries in this one but it's a huge volume little hacks and some cinnamon you know and then on the creamy one what i put is 200 milliliters of almond milk we put that through in our plan not a butter and it's on the plan with the reason then i put 18 grams of this peanut butter this is my favorite comment down below if you ever tried it out it's a, like clean I don't know, I just, I just love this brand, whatever it is, but my favorite peanut butter. And then we have a, from Skinny Syrups, uh, we have a peanut butter cup also, so it's three types of peanut butter in that. So you can imagine how that tastes actually, that ice cream. And so long, low in calories. Let me leave this in the fridge. As I said, for that volume, extremely low in calories. So with that said, calories and macros for the full day are gonna be on the screen. I really wanna go and enjoy this one. Again, update, new week, five and a half weeks out when you watch this. We are now speeding up metabolism by dropping overall calories even more. And then next week, you heard it, digging phase, next week. So that's like from four and a half to three and a half weeks out. It's gonna be that period where we're gonna have the lowest phase. Four low days, literally more cardio. So that's gonna be tough. But once that is over, we just started eating more and more leading into the show. Uh, and I'm excited for that, you know, next three weeks is gonna suck ass. It is what it is, we sign up for that. So, you know, I like to film full day of eatings, why not? Especially if I'm excited having a high day and when I'm depressed and having a low day, that's also what I'm gonna share with you guys as well. So, love you guys, appreciate you guys, and see you soon, as always. Probably uploading every two days, so, love you.